Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. We're going to see what our spirit guides have for Virgos. See what's the energy surrounding my Virgos. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so, so greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Okay, please remember these are general readings. Only take what resonates, leave everything else behind. Don't go try to make this fit into your life. As I'm... As I was still in the car, Spirit was telling me to grab this deck as well. So I was like, okay, let me grab it. All right. <laughs> I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for joining me, for all my members, guys. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel. For all my subscribers, guys, thank you. Thank you for joining me. And for all my new subscribers, welcome. Welcome. We're going to get right on to this. We're going to see what's going on with my Virgos, okay? I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what it is I need to see. Guys, remember these are general readings. Only take what you need. Leave everything else behind. All right, spirit. What is my Virgo's current challenge? What's the current challenge for my Virgos? Four of Cups. If you want it or if you don't want it, there's something very serious going on here. Your current challenge is whether you want something or if you don't want it. Four of Cups came out in the reverse. Some of you guys, you're trying to figure out if you're over a situation, if you're over a job, if you're over a relationship, if you're truly over it. Because whatever this is, this, this is something that you committed to at some point. But this is also telling me that you're not too sure that you still want it. Or, or, or it's telling us that you may have regrets. Because for some of you guys, you may have regrets because now you're coming to terms with the fact that you do still want it. And you're wondering if it's a missed opportunity. Show me spirit. Show me what influences this regret. What's influencing this regret? For my Virgos. Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Things haven't, things haven't been moving along the way that you thought they would. With this Knight of Swords. And this Four of Cups. What, what, this, what this is telling me is that there are things that haven't been moving along the way that you thought that it should. I have a feather that's stuck on me. <laughs> it's also telling me that for some of you guys, you could have at some point in time told someone that you didn't want to be with them. Or you could have walked away from a situation because you just weren't too sure. And now you're having some type of regret. Now you're, it's really and truly you're contemplating, do you want it or do you not want it? And what it's showing me is that with the Knight of Swords, there could be a lack of communication, a lack of forward movement in your life because you thought things would work out differently. It's like you gambled. That's the energy that I'm getting. And things are not actually going according to the way that you thought it would. Show me spirit. Show me what happened to my Virgos in the past. What happened to my Virgos in the past? Three of Swords. Heartbreak. Pain. Oof, some serious pain there. Some serious pain there. What caused this pain, Spirit? What caused this pain? Nine of Pentacles. Some of you guys, you wanted to be single. Some of you guys, you were focused on your work. A lot of you guys, what I got in this energy is that you wanted to be single. And in doing that, you could have walked away from something. You could have said enough is enough. There's been a lot of pain here. A lot of pain, a lot of fear, a lot of heartbreak. But you decided that you wanted to be single in the recent past. Hmm. 
I see that you, you felt like you were happy or alone. You actually became more successful on your own. Things started shifting in your life, falling into place, but not when it came to your heart. Not when it came to your heart, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. That's an extra message. That's you. See that? That's you. You have a solid foundation. You have so much to offer. You have so much to offer. So much to offer. Whether you're divine masculine or divine feminine, you have so much to offer. You have so much to offer the world. You have so much to offer within a relationship. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently, what's currently on my Virgo's mind. Ten of Wands. Why are you, you're, you're heavily thinking about walking away from things that burden you? You, you? A lot of you guys, you're contemplating walking away. What are you, what are you contemplating walking away from? What is my Virgos contemplating walking away from? Because some of you guys, it's not even that you're complicate, con contemplating. You're actually walking away. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you. That's on your mind present moment. If you haven't done it yet, you're considering it. Show me. Because here with this, here with this conflict, your current conflict, your current challenge is if you're going to regret this situation if the if things are going to go the way that you're thinking it's going to go see that's why you're thinking about this so heavily because you're not sure you're going back and forth should you should you not some of you guys are going to actually make the decision to walk away but then you're going back and forth with you're going back and forth in your head you're going back and forth in your head show me this ten of wands what's influencing this ten of wands Show me spirit. Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor in the reverse. So we have Taurus, Libra energy here. Also Virgo energy. Hmm. Some of you guys, you feel like you've lost yourself. Some of you guys, you feel like if this is a job... You're not making the money that you that you thought you were going to make. So you're having to walk away. If this is a relationship, it's giving a feeling of you losing yourself in the in the mix of it. Some of you guys, you thought you would have a family by now. Some of you guys, you thought you would be pregnant by now. For a lot of you guys, that's that's what you want. But I get in this energy, this there's been a there's been like more so like a codependency. If, you, if this is a relationship that you're walking away from that has become burdensome, it's not giving you what it is that you want. There's been somebody has formed some type of codependency. I feel like this is you. I feel like you I feel like for a lot of you guys, you feel like you're losing yourself or you've lost yourself. And that's why right now, present moment, you're considering moving on. It's like sucking you dry. If this is a job, because this could definitely be a job, you're just not making enough money to truly take care of yourself. And that's why you're contemplating, but you're also, your challenge is that you're just not sure if that's what you're supposed to do. It's just, you're just not too sure. Show me spirit. Show me what's my Virgo's current situation. What's my Virgo's current situation? Ten of Pentacles with the, with the Queen of Swords. Doing whatever you must do. Right now, present moment, your current situation is you. A lot of you guys, you started a new beginning. You're on a new journey. It's like you're on a new journey. You're taking a leap of faith. Right now, present moment, you're taking that leap of faith. You're starting a new journey. And while it may be scary, it may be lonesome, you've started this new journey. With the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, I'm definitely getting this is you. You have strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in your chart. There's some type of placement, but what it's telling me is that you're doing whatever. 
you're very guarded very guarded a lot of you guys it's all about you protecting what is yours right now present moment your current situation is doing whatever you need to do to protect whatever it is that is yours protect your family protect your home protect your money hmm You're definitely, you're definitely able and willing to do whatever it takes to survive. Show me spirit. What's influencing this, this desire of my Virgos to do whatever it takes? Because you're, you're definitely guarded and you're focused. You're focused on forward movement. You're focused on taking care of your folk. You're really and truly focused on your family. Whether you're a mother, a father, whether you have your parents still here with you, you have siblings. This is giving me like generational. This is just not giving me within your home. It's like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have a lot of people to take care of. That's the energy that I'm getting. Like you have too much people that rely on you. And that's why it's like you can't be distracted. For some of you guys, a, a relationship that you may have just come out of was a distraction to your abundance, to your money. For some of you guys, you weren't taking care of yourself enough in while you were in that relationship. Excuse me. So you made the decision to walk away from the relationship. And for some of you guys, you have some regrets because you thought things would move along faster than they are. Give me a sec. Hmm. all right show me spirit show me what's coming towards my virgos in the near future show me what's coming towards my virgos queen of pentacles oh wow look at that seven of wands you and someone here has a have a very very strong spiritual bond I had to take a double take. <laughs> I had to take a double take at that card because that card gave me a different um, <laughs> vibe there. All right. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a divine match, guys. From moving from your past to your future, you have a divine couple. You have a husband and a wife. You have a lot of stability, a lot of solid foundation. You have somebody that's coming into your life in the near future that's going to aid you into your path. So while present moment, your current challenges, things are not moving according to plan in the near future. And for a lot of you guys, it will be another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But they're going to be just as focused as you. It's like you two, look how, look how they, look how you guys are on the board. You two are looking at each other. You two, it's like a power couple. Literally, when I look at this board, it's like you're going to be forming a power couple here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been contemplating because you just weren't too sure if you've done the right thing, if you've been on the right path. But it's your path to be had. That's what I'm hearing. It's like you had to go through certain things to get to your blessings. So while decisions may have been hard in the recent past, you've had a lot of heartache and pain. You've undergone a lot of heart, heartache and pain. And a lot of you guys, you ended up to be you ended up being single. But it wasn't as bad as what you thought. It wasn't as bad as what you thought. For a lot of, for some of you guys, you are right now, present moment in your head. Thinking about should I, should I not, should I, should I not, whether you're walking away from a job, a career, or if you're walking away from a relationship that just hasn't been giving. But I do see here your current challenge. You're over something, but you're just not sure should you walk away, should you not walk away. For some of you guys, you made the decision to walk away, but things have not been going according to plan. They haven't been. But I do see your current situation right now is you doing whatever it takes. You're doing whatever it takes to survive. Whatever it takes. Let's see. Show me spirit. Show me the king of pentacles. Show me the king of pentacles for Virgo. Two of Cups. Two of Cups came out in the reverse. 
so for some of you guys this could be somebody that you that you're at odds with right now show me this two of cups four of cups so for some of you guys this is somebody virgo taurus capricorn energy it gives a soulmate connection it gives that there is love but somebody here could not actually be showing that love right now present moment and someone here i feel like this is you i feel like you're not getting the reciprocity that you want if this is somebody that you know that you are in love with because there is love but i'm getting an energy of two people because i have the two of cups in the reverse and the four of cups here i'm getting an energy of two people that love each other that want to be with each other but they're not together you're not working well together right now present moment with the four of cups here i feel like you're starting to get over it i definitely get like you're you're starting to get over it whatever this person comes in and whatever this person is offering you it's just not enough it's not enough for your time it's like i feel like i feel like in this energy it's like you may have given a lot to this person at one point in time you offer this person a lot of yourself at one point in time and that's for you guys who know exactly who this is because i'm getting an energy that's a group of you guys you know who this person is but you're over this person's foolishness but the thing about it is in the near future some of you guys will be coming back together with this person you may uh, go along this journey on your own but i do see for some of you guys you're going to be coming back towards this person Show me spirit. Show me this four of cups. Six of swords. Mm -hmm. Because at some point you're walking away from this person. Look at that. Your four of cups with the six of swords. So at some point you either walked away from this person or you're walking away from this person because this person wasn't giving you. This person wasn't showing you, expressing you the love. You and this person, y'all weren't aligning. So at some point you walked away or at some point you're going to be walking away. Show me spirit. Give me one card on that nine of pentacles. That's you. Doing whatever it is, like that's you being single. After some serious heartache and pain. the sun healing see you you went through a lot in the past we know that you went through a lot in the past we know that a lot of you guys you ended up being single working on yourself working on your money we see that some of you guys you really and truly you've been healing you've been spending a lot of time here with the sun strong leo energy you spent a lot of time healing for a lot of you guys, you actually found happiness all over again in the recent past through healing, through working on yourself. And it has not been an easy journey. It hasn't been an easy journey. Show me spirit. Show me this knight of swords. Show me the knight of swords for Virgo. The empress. I keep hitting these cards. Mm. for some of you guys your current challenge is not losing yourself all over again for some of you guys you're waiting you've been waiting for someone to come towards you for some of you guys your current challenge is truly taking care of yourself not putting so much emphasis on another not putting so much hope in i'm not even gonna say not putting so much hope because you know i'm a strong believer in hope I am. I, I never want you guys to feel like I don't want you to hope for happiness, hope for the love that you want. I never, I don't want you to ever feel that I don't want you to fight for what it is that you want. This is your life. I want you to remember this. This is your life. I want you to fight for whatever it is that makes you happy. I just don't want you to be stupid along the journey. That's all this is. I want you, if there's somebody that you want to be with, then okay, fine. That's, this is your life. I just don't want you to allow someone to abuse and misuse you to the point that you actually lose yourself through it. I don't want you to lose yourself because if you lose yourself, then what's the purpose? 
and that and right now present moment for some of you guys your current challenge is you're so all up in your head your spirit guides are wanting you to take a step back and take care of yourself or if you are even taking care of yourself right now don't forget to put yourself first because I do see that for some of you guys you're having some regret and you're just not too sure but I, but I feel like your spirit guides are wanting to warn you to continue taking care of yourself continue putting yourself first because remember as long as you're cared for as long as you know your worth things will start falling into place for you as long as you're not losing yourself because when you lose yourself that's when you get all in your head because then you're not sure you're not sure what is it you're supposed to be doing because the thing about it is with a Virgo you go back and forth in your head and oftentimes as me being a Virgo we do it to ourselves. we make our own self unhappy we make our own self sick because we can't actually some of us hesitate in taking that leap of faith we go back and forth back and forth back and forth instead of just jumping in and going with it oftentimes we are not truly faithful to our beliefs so I want you guys to take take that leap towards whatever makes you happy I want you I want you guys to hope hope for your future I want you guys to believe believe that there is better there's better within a relationship that you're currently in there's better within other relationships because things are constantly transforming People can change. They have to want to, but you can't make them. Because nobody can change a Virgo either. Y'all better remember that. Y'all have to remember that. It's like, it's giving an energy. It's like, I wish they would. Because you know that you wouldn't allow someone to truly change you. But sometimes it's you who change yourself because you all in your head through the process. I feel like your spirit guides are truly at this point right now, present moment. Is you, some of you guys you're hesitating on making a decision and what happens in this hesitation is there stagnation but I'm getting like guys for some of you guys this stagnation has been going on for a very long time this stagnation has been going on for a very long time and you need to make a decision your spirit guides are wanting you to make a decision some of you guys right now present moment in your mind you want to walk away either from a job or a relationship because it is not giving you and your current challenge right now present moment is that you're just not sure what it is that you should do I'm gonna need you to take a step back and figure that out I'm gonna need you to take a step back make a decision and go for it and be willing to deal with the consequences of it it's putting on your big bar britches putting on your big girl britches and making a decision and going with it you made a decision to watch this video you made a decision to love you made a decision to give birth you made a decision to go after a career go after a job you made a decision at some point in time so i know you you have the power to make a decision towards whatever it is that you need but i need you to i need you to make a decision to believe in yourself to have faith in yourself and to have hope for the future because a decision needs to be made but you you go back and forth you see i feel for a lot of you guys you've allowed things to happen unto you but now it's time for you to make things happen. You've allowed other people to do things unto you. But now it's time for you to do things for yourself. Hmm. Right now, present moment, I get that a lot of you guys, you're willing to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes to have stability. To be able to take care of your family and your responsibilities. Show me this Queen of Swords spirit. Four of, four of wands some of you guys you're trying to save your home some of you guys you're, you're trying to save your home some of you guys you're trying to find a home some of you guys you're working really hard right now present moment to try and find a home for some of you guys you're, you're trying to figure out you are focused on trying to save your marriage trying to save a relationship a divine relationship at that right now present moment you're trying to save your life. You're trying to, I'm hearing it. You're trying to save your life. And in trying to save your life is you trying to save your home, trying to save your relationship, trying to save your marriage. 
And I know like right now, present moment, you may come across as a little cold because you're so focused, but there is a purpose. There's a purpose, but I'm, I'm definitely getting in the energy for some of you guys. Your spirit guides want you to not be so rigid because while you're trying to save a relationship, you could come across as being a little cold and that's going to actually push the relationship further away than what you think. And whether this is a relationship with your children or with a spouse or a loved one, I'm just getting a loved one here. Your spirit guides are see like, I see you, you're working, you're working, you're focused, you're focused. But it's like, take a breath. It's like, take a breath. Because what you're fighting for, you could lose it in the process. I want you to remember that. What it is that you're fighting for here, you could actually lose it in the process. Show me this four of wands, spirit. The hermit, Virgo energy. Listen to, I'm so sorry, guys. Listen to your intuitions. Definitely listen to your intuitions. My throat's dry this morning. Sorry. Give me a sec. Listen to your intuitions. Listen to your spirit guides because you're going to be getting downloads. Your spirit guides are going to be guiding you. Listen to your intuitions. For some of you guys, I need you to take a step back and take a breath. Your spirit guides want you to take a step back and take a breath. Listen to your intuitions and take the knowledge. Ooh, the tower. Something unexpected is about to happen. Scorpio energy. There's something very unexpected that's about to happen. What is this, spirit? And this is in your current situation. What's the tower? The tower is all about something being built. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Five of Cups, sadness and sorrow. Crying over spilt milk. For some of you guys, our relationship is ending right now, present moment. But it's 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 giving an energy if it's not as bad as what you think. Something was built. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Something was built on an unsolid foundation. So for some of you guys, your spirit guides, you're going to end up on a solo mission. For some of you guys, you're going to end up in solitude because this marriage or this relationship will not work. That message is meant for someone here. And while you're fighting, you're fighting, you're fighting, there's something higher at play. There is something higher at play and it's going to be very unexpected. But the thing about it is you intuitively know that this relationship or, or whatever this is, it was not built on a solid foundation. You intuitively know that it, it was not built on a solid foundation and it's giving an energy of you crying over spilt milk when you were watching this not working out itself. Show me spirit. What, who's this king of wands? Who is this king of wands for Virgo? The moon, somebody that has secrets with the knight of cups, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy that came out in the reverse. <clears throat> this is somebody that, that wasn't, that, that hasn't been giving you what it is that you need. Somebody here that hasn't been truly showing you that they love you. This is somebody here that you know, this person has secrets. You know that there's something hidden. You know that this you're fighting for this. But you intuitively strong cancer energy here. We also have cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person, I'm so sorry. This person could be a little bit younger than you. I'm getting an energy. This person could be a little bit younger than you. But you know that there's some secrets here. You know that this person, it's with the nine of cups. It's someone that's not truly. Their emotions, their feelings, they're not. While they may care for you, this person cares for you, yes, but this is not love. Like it's more giving like a, it's giving off like, kind of giving me a feeling of like breadcrumbing you. I just heard like for some of you guys, this person is actually doing whatever it takes to stay within this until they get themselves together. That message is meant for someone. And something very unexpected is going to happen. What is this spirit? Show me this Knight of Cups. Five of Pentacles. That was just the energy that I was getting. 
for some of you guys what's unexpected is that if you're if you've been fighting for a relationship because this is the current situation you've been fighting trying to trying to take care of doing whatever it takes to hold down the fourth doing whatever it takes to save a marriage doing whatever it takes to try and make a relationship work but look how it trickles down Something was built on an unsolid foundation. You intuitively know that there's secrets and there's things that are hidden. You have watched the emotions and the feelings change within this relationship. Somebody's leaving somebody out in the cold. Whether this is you or the person in your energy, somebody is going to be leaving somebody out in the cold. But it's like a thief in the night. Somebody is leaving when somebody is least expecting it. Mm -hmm. Show me spirit. Give me one card on that empress. Two of swords just what i thought you guys you're indecisive you're indecisive right now you're guarded and you're indecisive because you don't know what it is that you want to do you don't know what it is that you want to do but in the near future i do see the queen of pentacles virgo towards capricorn energy nine of swords nine of swords came out in the reverse so i see that you're not going to be you're not going to be stressing anymore. You're not going to be anxious. Show me. Show me this Queen of Pentacles. Forward movement. Six of Pentacles. I love this. Reciprocity. Some of you guys, you're going to be giving rather than taking. You're going to have too much. It's like you're going to have too much for yourself. So you're going to have, I see you being able to do what it is that you need to do. And with this Knight of Swords here, I see communication that's going to be coming in. Somebody, somebody is tired for, for a lot of you guys in the near future. This person here that walked away or this person that you walked away from, this person that wasn't giving you what it is that you wanted. And for a lot of you, for a lot of you guys, it was another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person, you're going to be hearing from this person here with this Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy in the near future with the Six of Pentacles. This person wants to give. For some of you guys, this person may come in, come in with a gift. I feel here with this Nine of Swords, this person is tired of losing sleep over this. This, this person is tired of thinking about the situation. And I feel like whether this is you or somebody within your energy, somebody is going to make a decision to actually reach out or come towards the other. Yeah. Hmm. somebody knows that somebody has options but also somebody here is not happy without the other somebody intuitively knows that somebody has options but somebody knows that the other that they're not happy without that other person they haven't found the happiness that they've been they went searching for somebody definitely whether this is you or somebody within your energy somebody has not found the happiness that they went searching for Mm-hmm. Who is this spirit? Who is this for, towards my Virgo? Who is this? I hit that. Somebody that was juggling you. Somebody that was juggling. Who is this? The lovers. Somebody that loves you, though. Strong Gemini energy. This is somebody that loves you. Somebody that loves you and that's somebody that you love. Hmm. This is a divine counterpart. This is somebody that when you talk to them, it's so easy. This is somebody that when you talk to this person, it's so easy, so easy. Hmm. I do love this. I do love this energy. It's not toxic anymore with the devil at the bottom. Strong Capricorn energy. For some of you guys, it could be a Capricorn. At one point in time, things may have gotten a little uncomfortable between you and this person, but I feel like this person is coming towards you different. I feel like this person is coming towards you different. They're coming towards you more passionate, more trying to work things out, trying to work things out better. Yeah. Show me spirit. Give me one message for my Virgos. Give me one message. For my Virgos. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see. <laughs> I said one, but of course, Spirit does what He wants. <laughs> we go, my beloved. Though we, though we may be physically apart, 
Spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. So for some of you guys, this person, even though that you may be separated from the person that you do love, know that this person is thinking of you just the same. And then he says, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things cl clearly, you must let go of resentment. I'm definitely getting here because I've gotten this energy, guys. You, you, you're all in your head. You're going back and forth. I need you to stop. Take a step back. Truly think about what it is that you want. Truly think about what it is that you, and just make go for it. Just go for it. Don't do it. Don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. Hmm. And it says twin flames. Your passion ignites. Whoever this person is is coming back towards you here with the lovers in this twin flame card. This person, you and this person, you'll have a very strong bond. You and this person, you'll have a very strong bond. Show me spirit. Give me one card for my Virgos. Give me one card for my Virgos. I do love you all. All right. Angel number 888. Good fortune and abundance. A powerful number for manifesting your joy. Confirmation that you are the authority of your own life. I saw 888 yesterday. Confirmation that you are the authority of your own life you are in control of your own life you're taking back your power you're making things happen i love that for you guys give me one career message for my virgo spirit one career message oh spirit gave us more than one we're gonna go with that <laughs> All right, so we got Peacemaker. A win-win approach will bring mutual gains. Okay. A win-win approach will bring mutual gains. It's making amends. Agreeing to work with someone here. For some of you guys, with your spirit guides are saying that you may work in politics, negotiations, unions, contracts, or peacemaking jobs. That's, the, that's, that's like a good career path for you guys. It says apply diplomacy and tact when dealing with difficult situations. So for some of you guys, you may have a difficult situation that's coming towards you. And you're going to be the peacemaker within this. I feel like this, this, is, this has to do with your career, your job. So there may be something that happens and you're going to have to be the peacemaker, but you're going to win. Know that in doing so, you're going to win. And then we have counselor. A financial coach can help you reach your financial goals. It says family and marriage therapist. Those are like key jobs for you guys. Family and marriage therapist, grief counselors, or energy healing workers. Politics, negotiations, working for the union, or working with contracts. Within the legal system, I'm getting for some of you guys. It says in order to be a healer, you must come from a healed place. So for a lot of you guys, you need there's a lot of healing that you need to still partake in. Or you've undergone a lot of healing. So these would be good for you as a counselor or a peacemaker. A spiritual advisor as well. Hmm. I do love that for you guys. Sorry guys, my sinuses are messing up this morning. Alright, until next time, I do love you all. Bye guys.